In the stalemate of the trenches, the arrival of the Americans was decisive. Two million fresh troops helped the Allies push the Germans back. With victory came questions for the future. What now was America's role on the world stage? Wilson called for a League of Nations, an international peacekeeping force in which America would take the lead. But the American Senate rejected the League, killing Wilson's dream. Too much American blood had been spilled already fighting Europe's war. Let Europe now sort out her own problems. It was an attitude some recent immigrants found easy to understand. You know, I tell you about that Jew I met in London. We came over together, joined up, got himself killed in France, poor fellow. My parents lost everything. They had to leave Courland. They escaped to Antwerp in Belgium. And I'm here on $60 a week in the best city in the world. I'm wearing expensive clothes. I'm smoking the best cigars. What should I think? I ran away from all that. From 1918 to 1924, another million immigrants arrived at Ellis Island. But America was closing the door, limiting the flood of un-American people, un-American ideas. They imposed literacy tests, quotas. Meanwhile, those who'd already arrived learned in their turn what it meant to be American. Nations within a nation. And tonight, I will go to dance with my husband. I will drink beer, eat the little fish we make of pretzel dough. The sausage is good. And I will watch the men behind the bar, how they are moving, moving. Never collide with patrons, with each other. Never do they drop a tray, a drink. And I watch it all, and I love it. This is freedom. This is America. Everybody glad. <laughs> 